Now to wash down this wonderful feast here, what's more Hazelton than Farmer's Dairy iced tea? The origin of Farmer's Iced Tea is a very simple one. People in charge of Farmer's Dairy at the time wanted to expand their product line to include more than milk, and Farmer's Iced Tea was born. It started in the late 50s, early 60s, as far as, far as producing Farmer's Dairy Iced Tea. Uh, right now, Farmer's Dairy Iced Tea is sold throughout northeastern Pennsylvania. It's also sold in upstate New York. It's sold in Virginia and Connecticut and uh, we're right now located uh, a distributor in the Pittsburgh area. So how does Moisey feel about the iconic status that this drink has achieved? We, we here at Farmers can't be happier than what we are right now. To thank the Hazelton area, the Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area for the business that they've g given us over the years. It's just a drink that's known for this area. We have people calling and dropping in here from Nevada, Texas, California, uh, trying to send farmers iced tea out to them or, or their parents come in when they're going to visit them at college to take cases out there. And they, they buy it by the case, they buy the gallons, they buy the half gallons, and they buy the pints. The furthest that people came right now would be uh, Las Vegas, Nevada that I could recall uh, shipping farmers iced tea. What they, what they did is they bought four or five cases, put it on ice, and drove right straight through to Nevada. So what is the secret to an iced tea that some say is head and shoulders above the rest? The key is, that, and I, I really want to emphasize this to you, that we use the same powder, and that's what makes our flavor stays the same, that it doesn't change, as long as I've been here for the past 20 some years. Now some love this drink so much, they'll actually write songs about it, or sport a Powered by Farmer's Iced Tea t-shirt, and there's even fan-made websites. We, we didn't believe it until we saw it ourselves, that there's actually people on the website that follow Farmer's Iced Tea. Looking around the distribution center with Moisey brings back memories of my teenage years, back when I was employed by Farmer's Dairy. No, I didn't make the iced tea, but I did work in a restaurant in the late 80s until it closed in the early 90s. Many things have changed since then, but Farmer's Iced Tea hasn't. It's what many consider the iconic drink of the Hazelton area and northeastern Pennsylvania. Whoa, what are you doing, man? I mean, two minutes. Chris Fulmer is going to be here any second. Are you sure? I think so. I don't know where he is, but he's going to be here. <gasps> Hi. Can I stop the show without me? Just flew in from Reading, and boy, my arms are tired. So, Chris, tell us about it so we can start eating. Located adjacent to the Reading Airport at Carl A. Spatz Field, you'll find the Mid-Atlantic Air Museum. Open year-round, the museum has an extensive collection of aircraft from the Golden Age and beyond. But out of all the planes on the site, perhaps the centerpiece of its collection would be this P-61 Black Widow. One of only four currently in existence, the P-61 was the world's largest fighter at the time of its introduction. Other military aircraft on display at the museum include this AT-6 Texan, a TBF Avenger similar to the one George H.W. Bush flew in the Pacific Theater, and the C-47 Transporter. In addition to a couple of old commercial airliners as well, you'll also see some rarities at the museum, such as early helicopters like this, a Sprat whose wings were flexible and could be dipped at the pilot's discretion, this unique banana-shaped helicopter, the design was deliberate, although I don't know why, and one of only two existing Custer channel wings, the curved wings of which the designer thought would give it more lift. For more information, visit www.maam.org, and if you plan to go, consider going during the museum's annual World War II weekend, held the first full weekend in June. See you again after later. Hey, thanks for joining us, and make sure you tune in next time as we go off the beam path. Now let's eat! Salute! All right! Salute. All right.